But we're here to talk about Harry Potter 2, colon, Chamber of Secrets, to Harry, to Potter. No. Do we want to tip our hand to whether we like this one or not? Or are we just going to go straight oh, yeah. in? I'm actually quite curious because um, Tom Crowley... Yes, hi. You said in the last one that you haven't <laughs> seen many of these. No, I've seen two of them. I realised that I think it's number four is the other one I've seen. And I can't remember a thing yeah. about it except there's mermaids in it at one point. Exactly. So mm. what did you what did you think of this one? I enjoyed it, you know. I mm. think, um, you know, I'll, I'll spoil my very final uh, note that I took during my viewing of this film, which was, you know what, I liked that. Cut an hour out of it, you've got a film. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> That's my verdict. Get a director for the last ten minutes and it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I we'll get that... to. So Harry, yeah. he's been spending the summer with the dead. Dursley, which has been involved having no letters, no mail, and being locked in a room. I immediately got questions about this. My first sort yeah. of sh- reaction was, has Harry been sent back to live with the Dursleys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and what leapt to mind for me was like, when they got those kids out of those caves in Thailand, they didn't wait till the end of the school year, then shoved them back in there. <laughs> it's an outrageous thing to do. Harry, there's someone called Elon Musk at the door for you, the submarine. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they just called the- me a nonce. The, the Dursleys are back on their bullshit full, yeah, full yeah. pelt, aren't they? In this? they have they've, learned nothing. They've learned nothing, but also they've been watching lots of Terry and June. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Harry, stay in your room because my boss is coming round, who is Bishop Brennan. Yeah. And he yes. hates children. <laughs> That's right. And He's coming round for dinner. Head. Two things happen in this sequence that only happen in like sitcoms, basically. Mm. Mm. One is that they've had the boss round for dinner to secure like a really ace deal. His yeah. biggest second deal, thing is, he says. His yeah. biggest deal. I don't know He's what great. he does. I like, abuse children. Children, mostly, yeah. as far as I can tell. Like, he's got this really great child abuse deal worked mm. out with Bishop Brennan. I'm selling Brennan. you to his bum farm. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a Catholic bishop, so that's, uh, you know, not to stereotype. But um, and the second thing that only happens in sitcoms is someone yeah. standing in front of a group of people in a front room, like where the telly should be, mm. and yeah. relating jokes just with no context and no energy in the room it's whatsoever. It's a Japanese golfer joke, Tom. So Harry's upstairs, and and thank goodness, because what this film is lacking is Dobby. (laughs) Oh, Dobby. Oh, boy. I remember Dobby from the, only from like the posters advertising this film when it came out in cinemas. Mm. I remember thinking, yeah, he's like a little golemy or yodery little Mm. cute Mm. friend for the character. I didn't realise he was a sort of sadomasochistic testicle. He looks like a campaign, you know, check yourself regularly, lads. That's what he looks like. For testicular cancer awareness, and he keeps sort of just physically abusing himself. And a, a moment he where he's introduced, lot, yeah. he yeah. does. But I can only yeah. imagine that he was first originally introduced with an asphyxia wank, and that was cut. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't have, we can't have the Japanese golfer joke and the asphyxia wank in yeah. the same scene. That's yeah. too we much. We just get shoved in a cupboard. Not or... have pleasure. <laughs> Dobby. Awful. It's mm. one of the worst things I think I've ever seen in a film, Dobby. Mm. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I've seen a Serbian film. Do- yes, that's right. Do- Hi, Dobby. <laughs> Hi, David Carradine. Dobby's going to the wardrobe and he won't be back for a few minutes. <laughs> it's been an hour now. Do you think we should check on him? Just knock on the door. <laughs> he hasn't said anything. Why, are we out- Why did he have to have us outside of the cupboard when he went in? <laughs> Why didn't we go and have a meal or something? When Dobby appears, there's a sort of rumble from the bedroom upstairs. Mm. Uh, like a sort of a... Mm. And, of course, Vernon runs up going, What are you doing? And I, mm. I know what I would have assumed a teenage boy was doing. Yeah. Locked that alone would have been a, a good joke if he'd have pushed Dobby in the cupboard and then he said, What are you doing? And he should have just said, Experimenting with masturbating. <laughs> yeah, with masturbation. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. And then yeah. um, Vernon goes, oh, oh, um, oh yes, um, well, just keep it down, will you? Uh, <clears throat> uh, here's my sock. Yeah. <laughs> I've covered my little pink friend in a sock and he's got, he's getting very agitated. <laughs> Which would have been accurate. They would have been fine. Would. Um, so he says to Dobby, w- w- why are you here? And he says, I'm here to protect Harry Potter. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry this year. There is a plot. A plot to make most terrible things happen. What terrible things? Who's plotting them? Oh, he can't say. Okay, I understand. You can't. This video is sponsored by Displate. Displate create one-of-a-kind durable metal posters that you can use to collect, customise and display your passions. No tools, no damage, no fuss. These premium quality metal prints come equipped with a unique and easy to use magnet mounting system. Just give your wall a quick clean, wait 10 minutes, apply the protective leaf, stick on your magnet and voila! 
This plate is so simple to use, you can swap out your design for another in your collection in a matter of seconds. Over 40,000 independent artists use this plate to showcase their utterly spectacular designs. There's also officially licensed collections from brands such as Star Wars, Marvel, DC, Fallout, The Witcher, Peaky Blinders, NASA, Disco Elysium, Elder Scrolls, Doom, and of course, Shrek. There are millions of artworks for you to choose from to make your walls almost as interesting as you are. Speaking of millions, Displate plant one baby tree for every print purchased on their site, with over 17 million trees planted so far. With the holidays just around the corner, now is the perfect time to start your Displate collection. Displate's Black Friday event sees some of the biggest discounts they've ever offered, and with my unique link in the description below, those deals get even better! The more's the merrier this time of year, so why not pick out a few designs for some friends and spread the awesomeness that is Displate. Thanks again to Displate for sponsoring the video, and now on with the show. Yeah. Toby Jones, isn't it? It, it is, is Toby, Toby Jones. Jones. Yeah. In my least favourite of his roles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only role I've seen Toby Jones play, I think, mm. where I want to murder him. Yeah, I, I love Toby Jones, mm, and I've never brilliant. once wanted to strangle the character he's playing. Also, what a waste of CG, because he basically looks like this. <laughs> I think that's incredibly unfair. <laughs> you could just paint him grey. Well, famously Putin, isn't it? Putin is the, uh, oh, the lookalike. If you could get oh, he Putin, he does. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's true. I mean, they should have. And I hate Putin about as much as Dobby. Dobby's like, well, if Harry won't go back to Hogwarts, oh, also mm. cause Harry's upset and says, why are you hiding all my mail? Dobby's like, well, I have to make it so you'll never go back to Hogwarts. And he's like, if I was Harry, I'd be like, look around you, Dobby. Yeah. <laughs> How much look worse. Yeah. yeah. In what world am I not there the second I'm allowed to be? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Selfish little prick. Mm. So Dobby's like, well, if you won't go back to Hogwarts, I'll make you sorry. And he runs downstairs Sweet. and he, he throws a cake on Bishop Brennan's wife. <laughs> he does. Yeah. His wife, who is like the most archetypical Gary Larson far side sort of haughty woman, yes. isn't she? Yes, exactly. Yes, she looks like a sort of dowager from a silent yeah. movie. <laughs> and big, and big. <laughs> she looks like, um, who's the one I'm thinking of from the Marx Brothers? Dumont, Margaret Dumont. Yeah, there you go. Margaret, Margaret Dumont. Dumont. Yeah. Could have been played by the elder Margaret Dumont. And she's like, I'm covered in cake. Um, <laughs> I've at least invented I a hope first it's person cake. shooter for a PC. <laughs> <laughs> Called Doom. Oh. It's very simple. You fight the zombie aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I, and Uncle Vernon's like, this sounds fucking great. Just as she's yeah. getting into it, bloody yeah, big yeah. cake drops in the way. Yeah, cake, yeah. Completely unacceptable. That's, 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 that's what Vernon's biggest deal was, because Harry Potter set in the early 90s, isn't it? He? he was about oh, to of invest course. in Doom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, hang on. So, Bishop Brennan, so Jim Norton is, is playing John Carmack, who's just invented the game Doom. Yes. And it's about to hit the shareware floppy disks yeah. the world over. That's right. And Uncle <laughs> Vernon was the publisher who was going <laughs> to. Biggest deal of his career. Oh, uh, first person, um, <laughs> uh, yes. So then he's bolted into his room. Mm. Um, what I love is that basically it's like sending your mentally scarred son off to a military academy mm. yes. and then he comes home and you continue to be abusive and you expect there to be zero repercussions this for that. This is what I don't get. Well, they don't want him there. Why don't they just say, fuck <laughs> off to Hogwarts and don't come back? Why? Well, this yeah. is my question. Him? Like, yeah. he, Also, he's he's loaded. He's got his parents' secret stash of, of coin. Mm. So like, yeah. if he needs to sort of pay up to stay over the holidays, I mean, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Mm. Like, can I, can I pay double to guarantee I'll never go back there? <laughs> mm. Hiya, Harry. Ron, Fred, George, what are you all doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Now come on, get your trunk. But, Harry, but Ron Weasley turns up in a Hooray! flying Ford Anglia with Fred That's and right. George. Beautiful. Mm, uh, Uncle Vernon drops to his death or certain <laughs> life in a wheelchair. <laughs> yep. Richard Griffiths is not a man who I think would take that fall no. comfortably. No. no. <laughs> Tuck and roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how he looks normally. Yeah, true. It would be funnier if they used a stuntman that when he fell, he did like a forward roll and just landed immediately on his feet. And was evidently about 11 stone. Yeah, and then cut yeah, to yeah. Richard Griffiths just going, phew. Oh, phew. <laughs> he does the superhero pose, you know, where one arm's in the air yeah. and they're like, got yeah, bent yeah, legs yeah. and he's like, oh, thank goodness. Mm. But even funnier if Aunt Petunia and Dudley go down and they say, are oh, you all right, Vernon? And he just goes, I can't move my legs. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the rest of the franchise, he's a paraplegic. Yeah. <laughs> and still somehow manages to be exactly as abusive yeah. as efficiently. Yeah, yeah. They, sh they should have a bit at the end where Harry, you know, sees off his children on the train at the end and then Uncle Vernon just comes down the platform with a gun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <In the wheelchair. laughs> 
Sort of rowing himself along with the butt of the shotgun. Yeah. That's, right, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. If you were to shoot a gun at the, the barrier in uh, between our world and the other one, would that then chill through and just take out a random yeah. Hogwarts student? It good. Would, yeah. That's good to know. But so, uh, well, this is another question, which is, I'm not sure. Oh, is it, isn't it said later that the reason Harry and Ron in a bit can't get through the barrier is because Dobby stops it? Or Yeah, he puts a spell yes, over yeah. it. Right, mm-hmm. okay. So that's all right. So but it, does that mean that anything else can just go through? I'm just thinking about how many school kids is a prank of just poke their knobs through. Definitely. Oh, if, I tell you what, those late nights at Charing Cross where you just need a toilet, but they all co- they all cost like change. You don't have any change because no one has change anymore. And you sort of think, I could just poke it in there and do a wee. <laughs> no one would know. I should say King's Cross before people start writing in. Oh, yeah, say Charing Cross. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, so yeah sorry. it's King's Cross because the trolley, half the trolley's there when you walk past and people are always having their picture taken going, oh, look at me. <laughs> Maybe yeah. there's nine three quarters at Charing Cross as well and it's not just not gone into. That, no, that, that goes, goes to Percy Jackson. <laughs> no, right, okay. And then lightly free. And you go through, and there's just like a oh. clapped out mini. <laughs> and yeah. it's like getting. <laughs> uh, um, so then uh, Ginny comes down the stairs, sees mm. Harry, and, and yeah. Ron goes, She's been talking about you all summer. It's like, that's, that's a bit weird. Yeah. I mean, she's I... A, a tiny child. <laughs> she is. But it's all right because she's got the crush on him, not. Yes. That's true. The other way around would be really weird. Yeah, mm. that's true. Harry's been talking about you all summer. <laughs> he's like a little preteen <laughs> magical stud, Harry Potter. He's, he is. You know, he saved the school. <laughs> he's like Joe. In a way Blossom. that the school. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, oh. Um... <laughs> Uh, Mr. Mr. Weasley comes in. Great reference. One for the kids there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Weasley comes in, yeah. played by Mark Williams. Mark Will- absolutely Mark touch Williams. Absolutely touch of class, isn't it? I tell you what, around this time I lived in Brighton. Mm. I was walking to work one day, saw him, <gasps> didn't know he was in the Harry Potter, and he had this bright red hair. I was thinking, what's going on there? <laughs> a breakdown. Oh, yeah, but no, no, it turns out he wasn't having a breakdown. He was in a <laughs> Harry Potter film. Um, he's it's easy so to make that good, mistake. He? He's so he's, brilliant. He's he fantastic. He turns up and you're like, absolute safe hands. Yeah, really, here we go. This will be entertaining, yeah. He's been on nine fucking raids in the night. Nine. Nine yeah. raids. <laughs> Were they lads raids, like what in the fucking... Craig Frebras films? <laughs> we, we smashed a few nonces. It went oh, out. We smashed Brilliant. a few nonces in the face. Raid yeah. boys <laughs> four, the elite crew were out last night. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> London Blitz 9 was out last yeah. night, Harry. So it sounds like he's working for Thatcher and going into Belfast. Yeah. He executed some Muppets. Yeah. yeah. He made it all night yeah, in a does transit, actually, Harry, yeah. and then when they came out, we shot them all. He shot them all, yeah. yeah. Bad Boys Horrible. Magaluf Adventure. <laughs> now, Harry, you must know all about muggles. Tell me, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Oh. Um, um, the joke with um, Mr. Weasley is, is he yeah. loves muggle things. He loves That's true, which is a great things. idea. It's he a says, really nice idea. It's a lovely idea because he says, Harry, tell me, you must know all about muggle behaviour. What mm. exactly is the function of bukkake? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What and is he says, thing? I'm 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like sort of a, a the spades from a, from a deck of cards, but it's three-dimensional. And it's it's a butt plug. It, it doesn't matter. But just put it down. <laughs> what is this rocket with a B in it? <laughs> There's no B in it. No, Why doth this egg hum like the singer? <laughs> Don't put that down. Oh, no. I've been, I've been As if enjoying some selling. of your muggle jelly. Yes, the cake pie <laughs> variety. Very tasteless, and it comes in a little, a little bottle. Strangely tart <laughs> and subtle of flavour. I, I accessed a website, and I'm not a fan, but it clearly said only fans are allowed. Like, are you just... I think you're just indulging in porn. It <laughs> asked me for my you... login, and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> then I went to a service station on the way home, and I, I found this magical box that gave me a ring, which when I put it on my finger... Does make it tingle something awful. <laughs> and I asked the man next door via a little hole. <laughs> and he gave me a lollipop. <laughs> That's a big lollipop. <laughs> yes. and I think it might have been meat. <laughs> Very tasty. What are these meat lollipops, Harry, that you have in the muggle world? <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking 11, mate. <laughs> Do you not have penises? <laughs> <laughs> No, the wizards, full, full-blooded wizards, just magic the sperm into the other wizards. <laughs> just teleport it in there. There's no Fair fun. Enough. There's no fun in magic world. But they're going to go and oh. get school supplies now. So they're going to go via the chimney. And, and, uh-huh. and to yes. do it, you have to say where you're going. So in this case, yes. you throw down magic powder and you say where they're going, which is Diagon Alley. But Harry, unfortunately, because he's thick... 
Yeah. It says diagonally. Diagonally. Well, Mrs. Weasley says to him very, very distinctly, she says, speak very clearly the mm. second before he says it. Yeah. And then Harry mumbles the wrong word because he's then a Harry goes, gangster and he won't be told. That's going to be it. Down of it. Bermuda. No. Pamela <laughs> Anderson's boobs. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you listen carefully from where he turns up, it looks like he's gone Ed Gein's house. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Where where, the where he's he like, gone? He's gone to Nocturne Alley, apparently. Yeah, but there's and severed heads, hands, legs, yeah. bowels. He's gone to Pedo Alley, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's yeah, Pedo Alley. Saying. Isn't yeah. that... Not lost, are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you. I, I was just... Come with us. We'll help you find your way back. No, please. Harry! Hagrid! What do you think you're doing down here? So Hagrid, yeah. Hagrid's in Nocturne Alley. He goes, yeah, Harry, exactly. what are you doing here? And Harry should be like, a very good question. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing here? <laughs> Buying a bit of smack. Oh, I should not have said that. I should Burying not. my last child yeah. I murdered. Oh, I oh no. <laughs> Selling oh, the other corpses to that shop that shrinks all the skulls. Yeah. Oh, no. I was going to buy that hand on the mantelpiece <laughs> that you've touched. I was going to put my lolly in it. <laughs> <laughs> my meat lolly in there. See what it happens. doesn't let go, does it? No. No. Tight, tight grip. <laughs> <laughs> Just see Hagrid screaming from his heart every night. Uh, you alright, Hagrid? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm absolutely brilliant. Thank you. I didn't know you smoked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Oh, boy. Ooh. I think he got some pubes out that time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get you to Diagon Alley, the safe yes. place for children. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they're joined by Hermione, a book Yay. signing by Gilderoy Lockhart. That's right. Played Kenneth by Branner. Kenneth Branagh. I <laughs> like Kenneth Branagh in this a lot. He's I great. Do. I think he really gets what he's playing and he's, he does lots of little cheeky facial mannerisms to make me laugh. He had no idea that he would in fact be leaving with my entire collected works. Free of charge. Now, ladies. Jason Isaacs yeah. is um, Draco Malfoy's dad, Lucius. And he basically says to Harry, big fan of the guy who murdered your mum and dad. <laughs> Pretty cool guy. Like yeah. Him. Harry's like, they, he murdered my father. And he's like, yeah, it's good, wasn't it? Because it is the you know thing what, about Harry? Hogwarts. <laughs> it's like Hogwarts basically has... Four houses, which are like a nice man, a nice man, a nice man, and then Hitler. Yeah, and... Hitler, yeah, Hitler house. Yeah, I had the exact same thought while I was watching it. It's really weird that they just let that happen. I know, you'd yeah. think at some point someone would be like, you were in a film school and it was like Spielberg, De Palma, <laughs> Polanski. Yeah. yeah. And then you'd be like, why Why is he still... I don't... He was here at the start, we don't want to... Yeah. <laughs> Harry, why do my colleagues keep asking me to put my meat lollipop in their mouths? <laughs> At lunch break. <laughs> and they run backwards and forwards very quickly. <laughs> yes, that's right. And the lolly doth cough up syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the fact that he now doesn't understand basic anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so so <laughs> Lucius is just like oh well all you Weasleys are fucking tramps. Yeah. Harry, Harry, <laughs> you're an asshole. Um yeah. fuck you all. Yeah. yeah, I'm off to go and uh, lie down in the House of Commons. Fair yeah. enough, absolutely fair enough. I uh, think all of these starving Jack Monroe povos should just learn to cook. <laughs> <laughs> they just had one less avocado on toast. <laughs> if they stop okay. eating all that smashed avocado. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Malfoy. Great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Goodbye. Now give me my paycheck for the day. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> A little bit of politics there, everyone. Nice. A little bit of politics there for you. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. oh, they end up at uh, Hogwarts. They sure. crash into a whomping willow, mm, which is yes. again a tree that shouldn't be on school grounds. No, the murdering exactly. tree, yeah, straight yeah. into it. That's like putting like a chain round some sort of Jason Voorhees neck. Yes. Mm-hmm. And putting him on the school field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and someone being like, you interfered <laughs> with Jason Voorhees. Oh. You crashed a car into him. You, and he, you <laughs> shot a flare gun into Jason Voorhees. He's trying to stab me Poor with a machete. He's been on these school grounds for 40 yeah. years. It's, it's apparently since oh. on the first film, they ran into a wanking willow, which was Warwick Davis uh, masturbating in his trailer. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that works on both counts because it does. A, he was Willow, a he B, Willow. he's in these films. I mean, it would make more sense than that game show thing I keep getting seen. <laughs> yeah. Trying to explain a question to somebody really bewilderingly. Here's your question again. The 10 frozen vegetables after broccoli sold at Iceland. We'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the 10 vegetables that come after broccoli alphabetically, which are sold separately at Iceland as part of their own brand range. This list is based on the following search on the Iceland.co.uk website. First under frozen, then under vegetables and rice. Finally, then under vegetables. We're not including vegetables sold on any other pages of the website. There are no potato products on our list. This is according to the Iceland.co.uk website as of the 10th February 2022. So good luck with this. You ready to kick off? Yep, let's go. What's your first answer? Um, my first answer I'm going to go for is carrots. <laughs> so Snape shows them a newspaper headline. You were seen by muggles mm, flying yep. in a car. And then he's like, well, you should probably be expelled. And then Dumbledore and McGonagall turn up. And Dumbledore's like, well, I don't think we'll be expelling Harry Potter because he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> he's a special little boy. Mm -hmm. He's a special, clever lad. Also, Snape uh, sort of, his <laughs> anger seems to come from a place of like, you almost told the world about what we do in this school. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, let's not dwell on that too long. Yeah. 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 Also, if I was Harry Potter, I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. We were trying to get to school and we missed the one train you have. Yeah, yeah. But if you you're not on, on yeah. that one train, you can't go to this school. Maybe look at that. Where's the fucking night bus? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, the yeah, night bus will be there in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Now, around this time, I was thinking to myself, Ron did have no small part in saving the school and, we can only assume, the planet mm. the previous yeah. year. If it wasn't I mean, for what, Ron, the... Harry wouldn't have got in there. So, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. so less than about, what, four months ago? Yeah. yeah. He saved humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that counts for shit at this point. Apparently so. It's... Right, okay, Absolute fair enough. Blank slate every year, blank slate again. Doesn't yeah, except for Harry done. Potter, who can always do no wrong. That's the yeah, exactly. exception. Yeah. Yeah. Ron's probably the only one out of the three of them who's going to be the milkshake duck, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Definitely. he's got caught. Ron Weasley, you like to post from Darren Grimes. <laughs> <laughs> it was an accident, Mum. I'm so sorry, Ron so Weasley. Sorry. You bought a masterclass session from Jordan Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was I was trying to get the Alan Moore one. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> He, why aren't you eating any vegetables anymore? It's what he says. I'm an alpha. I'm an alpha now. <laughs> yeah. You're very yellow at this point. You've kind of got <laughs> angry. <or something. laughs> I am. They go to Gildry Lockhart's first lesson. Yes. Where he unleashes Cornish pixies, which lynch Neville. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They the literally Smurfs. pick him up, carry him and hang him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want Gene yeah. Hackman and Willem Dafoe to come. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do something about these pixies lynching yeah. Neville. The states are turning another blind eye to the actions of the pixies. Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah. Because Neville then says, why is it always me? Which yeah. he says really again moment. the day after Hogwarts first. <laughs> oh, God. Because literally everything bad happens in Hogwarts. to Neville. It yeah. really does. Vulnerable. Uh, very scared of his own shadow. He's very scared. He gets into a lot of um, problems, like um, and things. Gilroy Lockhart had set out some pixies, and they'd grabbed my and pulled me up by my and my and hung me onto the chandelier. <laughs> it was cool. It was a lot of fun. So then Malfoy yeah. is. Uh, they're going to the Quidditch practice, and they're yes. like. Sorry, we've got the Quidditch field today by order of Snape. And he gives him the bit of paper and it's rolled in a parchment. I'd be really annoyed with that. I'd be like, why can't you just fold stuff? Why does it have Come to be on, rolled mate. up? <laughs> why does it have to be a big enough piece of paper? All it says is Slytherin can use the... Hitler house yeah. can use the Quidditch. Yeah. <laughs> why do you need a giant, like, lambskin parchment? Right? <laughs> yeah. A pronouncement. It's got one of those fancy first letters that's really big. Yeah, yeah. a giant S <laughs> Slytherin can use the Quidditch field. <laughs> or sincerely Oswald Mosley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, well, we've, we're training a new fucking dodger, yeah. snatcher, k kisser. What are they called? Felcher, Seeker. isn't it? Seeker. <laughs> Seeker. Yeah. Felcher. Victim. And Malfoy steps out and he's like, I bought yes. everybody new brooms. Yeah. yeah. My dad did. And he's like, and I'm really great. Um, Hermione says, well, you bought your way on the team. Then he says, shut up, you filthy mudblood. Ooh, yeah. And this is the first nice introduction of this word. Yes. yes, that's right. And the idea that Hermione's not 100% wizard, right? Yeah. yeah. 
So then Ron steps forward and says, Eat slugs, Malfoy. Uh-huh. And then yep. has to shit out of his mouth. For the next, <laughs> yeah, well, this is like so, Ron's Freshers Week moment, isn't it? Because he's out with the yeah. rugby club and then the next minute he's like vomiting uncontrollably in the provost's office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Imagine if instead of saying, go eat slugs, he'd said, go jump up your own arse or yeah. something. And then <laughs> <laughs> that is visited upon him. Have some AIDS, Malfoy. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Have a dirty needle. God. Eat pink lollipops. Yeah. <laughs> My dad likes. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Can you turn it around, Harry? No, Colin, get out of the way. So, so, in detention. Harry's mm. helping Lockhart sign photographs. Fun. Yes. And he hears a strange voice, which sounds a bit like a terrible uncle trying to wake you up in the middle of the night. Harry, wake up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what? Sorry? So he, he, does, he has a wandering about and he finds Mrs. Norris. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Petrified, hanging up. Yeah, yeah that's again, right. Again, sort of lynched. Yeah. And I, message, I thought that cat was full on dead when yeah. I saw this. Full on dead. Yeah. <laughs> They've been strangled. And yeah. a message in blood, the, where the blood has come from, we never find out. It's never, never out. explained. No. Blood. <laughs> also, when the group assembles to see it, Hermione says, it's written in blood, mm. very much taking the Yaz role there. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the cat is up. stiff and hanging, and there's blood. So you wouldn't be thinking of going, oh, they've cut open the cat and they've used its blood to do the thing. Yeah. But no, no, you're meant to believe that the cat is is fi- is going to be fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that it's just some other blood, just some other random blood that's been used. I mean, mm. where the fuck's it come from? Filch pushes his way through. He goes out of the way, out of the way, and then he <laughs> says, he goes, this is Norris, and then he points mm. at Harry and says. You bummed my cat. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. No, he says. You, he says very nicely. You murdered my cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, David Bradley's very good as Phil. He's so he? I couldn't handle he's after all good. of you know him being just a massive arsehole the entire time. I, as soon as he saw his cat presumably dead, uh, just mm. the look on his face, I couldn't handle it. Incredibly good. Yeah, my, my only companion, the only person mm. who likes me. Oh, yeah, um, the only person Bless. who'll lick my taint. <laughs> Do you mean its own taint? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's got. Yeah, got anyway, it. Anyway, I've yep. got to go. What about your cat? Oh, I mean, I've got to stay. You all got to go. Mr. Filch, you dropped this. So, Professor McGonagall's class, which is turning Mm. animals into cups. Hooray! When's that ever going to be fucking useful? (laughs) I'm going camping. I've got everything. All I've got is a cat and some ham. Uh, I need to get some water from the lake. I could use a cat's mouth, I suppose. Yeah. (laughs) I I could use a spell that turns a cat into a cup. Professor McGonagall, my cup still tastes like a cat. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, that's right, love. That's how it's supposed to be. You you lucky boy. Look right at the bottom of the cup. There's a cat's bum hole. The lane, yeah, looking, yeah, winking at you from the bottom. And what, what point does that cup not become sentient anymore? It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, true. It's about, well, I mean, Cronenberg esque. That's it. Really is. Ron's Ooh. like rat cup, half transformed, is just going, "Kill me! Oh, like little, I should yeah. not be alive." It's like the little gibbon that comes out of the thing in the fly. Because don't exactly. we find out later that that rat is Timothy Spall? Yes. So, yeah, so <laughs> oh Timothy Spall is a rat and then is a cup, which yeah. is, it must be painful. Timothy Spall is a rat, is a cup. <laughs> oh, what a wild day that must have been. In McGonagall's class, someone puts yes. their hands up and goes, Miss, Miss, Miss Professor McGonagall, not Miss or Mrs., tell us about Slytherin mm-hmm. and tell us about the Chamber of Secrets. And she's like, well, it was a magical room and, and, and it was opened at one point. And it killed a muggle-born student. Mm-hmm. And there are some who say that it was a monster. <gasps> mm. oh, and, no. o- and that only its air can control. And yeah, we, we looked says, for the chamber and we couldn't find it anywhere. Which is mad. It's, it's absolutely yeah, mad. It's insane. Yeah. In it's their own enormous. school that they run. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because there's already been the, the room where there's like a massive uh, homicidal chessboard yes. that people yes. didn't mention before. So yeah. like no. They can conjure a fucking orange out of thin air, but they can't find a room. <laughs> they can't find a room. <laughs> yeah. Which is incidentally like full of like very giveaway snake decorations. We find Yes. Out. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is that hoarding man living in there? Is that why they couldn't find it? <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Trebus. Yeah, maybe. Mr. Trebus living yeah. in the chamber of secrets. <laughs> 
Leave me alone. <laughs> what a copy of a newspaper from 30 years ago. <laughs> no, we're looking for the Chamber of Secrets, so I've never heard of it. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> I don't want to leave. Mr. Trebus, we're from the council. <laughs> I'm not coming out. <laughs> me and the basilisk are very happy in here. Oh, I should have said that. <laughs> oh, I should not have said that. <laughs> I, I like about Mr. Trebus, which is very sad. I don't like yeah. it really, but no. they took him out of the house and he died like a week later. <laughs> oh, he did. It's like did the dirt see... was keeping him alive. Yeah. <laughs> he was in an oh. old people's home and he was he was collecting all the cutlery. Um... <laughs> God. I had enough of you. Right. You you knocked out my... I can't hear door. you, Mr. Trebus. I'm not coming go. Mr. Trebus, what are you doing that is dangerous because that could well collapse? That's my business, what not it's... yours. So, yeah, so Ron, Hermione and Harry are suspecting that Malfoy is the heir because he yes. was all like, I'm going to kill you, Hermione. <laughs> so she's like, I've got a plan. We're going to use Polyjuice Potion. But it's going to take a month to make it. Yeah, that's right. In a book of spells called uh, Plotus Delayum. <laughs> <laughs> Other events can happen before they get to the point. Yeah. So talking of things that take a month, yeah. Here's a Quidditch match. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Do we want to focus on the Quidditch match? Or no, we, uh, let's just say that anything. Dobby tries to kill Harry on multiple yeah. occasions <laughs> with this bludger thing. Yeah. Breaks his hand and then um, Kenneth Branagh turns his arm into a knob. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? It's when his arms are Oh, God, it's the grossest thing. Yeah, awful. Yeah. Yeah. And then Ron's dad turns up and says, I've seen one of them. It was sticking through a wall in a public laboratory. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it was holding an apple. <laughs> Yeah. Just to, to very quickly pop back to the polyjuice potion, it did mm-hmm. occur to me that, like, hang on, so Harry and Ron have a potion that's being cooked up that can turn him into crab and goil, and, and I just think that casts a bit more doubt on what happened at the London riots. <laughs> no, I just, I just <laughs> my drink out. Distinctly, somebody heard... It, it weren't me, it was, it was <laughs> Harry po- Daniel Radcliffe, done it. <laughs> Someone distinctly heard Crab at the time saying, this will really get Slytherin into Dumbledore's bad books. <laughs> Maltovio Coctalamus. <laughs> And then when mm. Harry's in bed, they bring in another student, young Colin, who was taking pictures of Harry earlier. Not yeah. in a disgusting way. Yeah, not <laughs> playing then, no. And then McGonagall goes, I think we must face facts that Hogwarts is no longer safe. When has it <laughs> ever been safe? Never. Yeah. It's never safe. You, you said a There's child died here. Yeah. <laughs> well, they also, they, they go into the sort of the school medical centre and they yeah. just have a sort of shout-whispered conversation. About, <laughs> oh, There's a terrible problem with the oh. Chamber of Seek. And then I imagine they leave the room and then go yes Harry definitely heard that he was <laughs> to be asleep. Well he done, will everybody. fix everything Text let's button. go get wankered Harry's on the case yeah yep. <laughs> he sort it all out for us like he always does uh, yeah so um, I, don't, I don't know any other schools where a student would have been murdered on the site and it's still open 50 years later no mad isn't it absolutely mad mm. yeah uh, well, it's apart from Grange Hill obviously <laughs> <laughs> So they, they brew the polyjuice potion in a disused yes. bathroom haunted by Moaning Myrtle. Moaning AKA Myrtle. Babu Frick. Yes, That's right. exactly. The then, the then 35-year-old Shirley Henderson. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. She's amazing. Oh, she's great. She's, she's fantastic. Most... Also, Ooh. she's the lady who ends up being the blowjob pavement in um, Doctor Who. Yep. The, the, yeah. the oral sex paving slab in Doctor Who. That's <laughs> yeah. That's canon. That's canon. That Mark Warren canon. shoves his cock in a paving slab. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit um, reductive. Mm. 
<laughs> it's it's not the most empowering. Is it Russell for a T. Davis? It, it sadly is, was, yeah. yes. Yeah, but... And he's coming back, is he? Yeah, he's coming back. Yeah, <laughs> so we're all very he's hopeful. Always... Uh, so Harry has a duel with Malfoy, and uh, in, in the in the process of that, Malfoy conjures a snake. <gasps> yep. And Harry, without knowing he can do it, starts speaking parcel tongue. Yes. Yes. And everyone's because this snake's trying to kill the boy with a giant chin, Bruce Campbell's son. No offense if you're listening, mate. You, you, uh, I think you did very well. But he's hardly got any lines, so you sort of no. do have to just remember him. And I feel like they've set him up as a visible background character, like the kid with the camera, mm. to yes, cast yeah. out over like which one's the heir, what yeah. kids haven't we met before that yeah. have oh, turned up in the film. Because it should and be Neville, right? Neville, it should, the snake should just appear and then just like bite Neville, and then Neville's dying. He's like, why me? Why yeah. is it always me? <laughs> me? Oh, they can't be walking in a room a and the like... snake's like holding Neville and bumming him, and it's just like. <laughs> yeah. Just like, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> At this stage, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just glad I'm alive. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hoping he finishes soon. Yeah. yeah. Shut Finish, the door, please, Neville. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. If you don't, that'd be great. And, and don't let Colin in here because he'll take a picture. I, mean, I don't want a scoop. This. <laughs> <laughs> that picture will start appearing on um, notice boards every day. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Children, <laughs> it's come to my attention that someone is still putting pictures of Neville being bummed <laughs> by a, a basilisk on the school boards. Could you please stop? We're not going to do anything about it, but we'd really appreciate it if you did stop. Please stop. I'm going to leave this picture here and turn my, and walk away just so you know which picture I'm referring to. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's back on the notice board. Who did that? Yeah. I'm, I'm afraid someone has wanker. painted this picture, which means there's a version of Neville permanently being bummed by the snake forever, trapped in a painting. Who oh, yeah. built this stained glass window of Neville being bummed by a snake? <laughs> And then nearly cancelled Nick sticks his head through it and says, Ah, cancelled at last. <laughs> and everyone I just goes, Oh, we forgive you. I bumming once, but I think I got away with it. <laughs> he walks around like a snake. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. In the dueling <laughs> section, I, I don't think the irresponsibility of Hogwarts has ever been clearer. Because no. it's like they basically go, Now, we know there's been a lot of stabbings in the area lately. Mm. So we're having special stabbing classes mm. with a known stabbing expert. <laughs> yeah. you not only how to disarm the stabber, but to stab them first before they get a stabbing. Yeah. Yeah. In, a, in an educational institution. So he hears more parcel tongue and then he finds fully cancelled Nick. Yeah, he's finally cancelled. He's all yes, petrified. He yeah. He's absolutely terrified. For making this is basically that a Glasgow visual window. representation of him uh, being fired from those Sainsbury's adverts. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> they didn't like. No one liked them. They're the they least successful advertising campaign ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and then and also um, the boy with the chin has been oh, petrified yeah. oh yes that's right yes. <laughs> yeah. so now everyone's like oh hang on this is definitely Harry because A he wasn't a fan of those Sainsbury's adverts yeah, he, he said so or, and he even made a case for fierce creatures being as good as Fish Called Wonder <laughs> Because everybody said at the time it was an equal, not a sequel, which is nonsense. Yes. Uh, yeah. and, and B, the boy with the chin he tried to kill with the snake earlier has now been petrified. Exactly. They've heard Harry Potter saying, I think those Nicholas Lindhurst, Debra Smith adverts were actually superior. <laughs> <laughs> Every family member was Nicholas Lindhurst. I like them. You mean the one um, where Nicholas Lindhurst as a lady made a compelling case? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very much so. Yeah. And his head started to make sense. Yeah, True. Yes. <laughs> long hair. That's what it is. That's, that's what he what, needs. Yeah, mm. not a beige bowl cut. No. This no. is this all makes sense. I just now. Imagine Nicholas Lindhurst goes to the barbers and he just says, "Could you cut my hair as short as possible on the top of my head, please, and make it <laughs> just make it look strange, tufty like an owl." Yeah. <laughs> I want it. I want the longest haircut that a short haircut can be, if that makes sense. Yeah. Nicholas Lindhurst has got the very definition of when you were a kid and people would say that your hair was done by the council. That's right. <laughs> yeah. An NHS haircut. Yeah. 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 This is meant to be scary, is it? Crab and oil. Yep. Hello. They They're they see eating... two hovering cakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to eat yum, them. Yum, yum, Again, yum. this is you're not surprised the man got involved with riots. They are holding so many cakes. So many cakes. And then they see two hovering cakes. Mm. And they're like, well, obviously, we'll eat the hovering cakes first yeah, yeah. without question. Yeah. And it's like the hovering cakes have like caviar on them or something. It's disgusting. It looks awful. And, yeah. Some yeah. strange kind of goop. Yeah. Not think that's suspicious, the hovering cakes at all. No. No. And they put them in the broomstick cupboard and then they take a hair off mm. both of them. 
From the head? From the head, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. And yeah. uh, they put it in a glass. And each of them take a sip of this glass and then just drop it on the floor so it smashes. They yep. all smash the glass. Just put it down. <laughs> That's universal language for, like, the potion is working, though, isn't it? It's like you it take is. a sip and then yeah. uh, and then a shot of the feet and then the beaker smashes. It's smashing. Moaning Myrtle's going to come out and go, who's dropped fucking glass over my bathroom? Mm. Babu frick. Yeah. <laughs> so then, I've still not seen that one yet, so looking forward to oh, well, Babu Frick. I'm very yeah, excited. Yeah, I, I hear it's the best one ever made yeah, since yeah, yeah. 1970. <laughs> no, yeah. that Shirley Henderson plays a character called Babu Frick. Um, mm. Okay. No, uh, I, I well saw worth. this on IMDb looking up this oh, yeah. film, and I, I, it made me. It's the first time I've looked forward to watching The Rise of Skywalker. Babu well, Frick's the best thing in it. Yeah, Babu Frick right, looks okay. a bit like if Willie Nelson was a premature <laughs> baby video. <laughs> right. Well, now I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Like, if Bob the Minion shot out a baby, <laughs> but it was a bit premature and it had a beard. So yeah, you're saying it, it. it looks like what's inside the suit of a Minion. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you reckon at any point, the guy who played Crab mm. tried to get away with saying, I played Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter films? They're oh. like, no, you didn't. He's like, technically, in Te- the Terry yeah. Secrets, yeah. I'm playing Ron Weasley yeah. playing Crab. So that is true. actually, I'm, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, but uh, can I just buy some weed off you? <laughs> 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 this ain't no fantasy, cousin. This is real life. I got a couple factories, so I'll be farming all the time. Money is the main issue, constantly on my mind. You can get your frame ripped six shots at a time. So then uh, Malfoy's like, I tell you what, fucking Hagrid's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Harry goes, you're wrong! <laughs> Can't like, keep it in for a second. Can't like, pretend. Are you all right, Goyle? And then Crab's like, oh, yeah, he's just tired or something. Or the other way around. He's like, oh, fuck's sake. Surely um, Ron's the one that instantly drops it because Ron's the thick one. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's Ron, actually. Yeah. But basically, they, they, they get no information from... Um, they do. See who's got the smallest penis in Hogwarts, Harry Potter. I've heard it's fine, actually. I've heard it's not, it's not really big, but it's not like... You wouldn't comment on it being small. Oh, it's, yeah? It's well, a look grower, at not this. a shower. <laughs> why, why have you got your knob out? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> So they go back to the toilet. Yeah. They start oh, one one to detail, sorry, uh, just from when they eat the cakes that are hovering. I wrote, this was important. I wrote this down. Goyle appears to be eating the baking paper on the cupcake. <laughs> There's a close up, and you can see him like noshing down on the paper. <laughs> there are three floating cakes in this film. <laughs> that there is are. Quite a weird motif that they've, they've introduced. You're right. Yeah. This is mm. porn for those men who like throwing cakes at women. <laughs> True. Mm. Is that a mukbang? I don't know what a mukbang is, and as oh, kids have know. a. No. It sounds Words like something farmers have. <laughs> if you don't behave yourself, I'll put you in the mukbang. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, yeah, so Mur- Moaning Myrtle's in the U-Bend and she was thinking Moaning about Myrtle's death. Moaning Myrtle's in the mm. U-Bend, thinking about death, and then gets annoyed when someone threw a book at her. But she's fine with mm-hmm. shits and piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, John, it's been established that no one uses the girls' toilet, so presumably all of the girls at Hogwarts really need a shit all the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah. That's comforting. So then Harry finds the book, and it turns out it's a diary from a former student called Tom Riddle. Mm. Fine. Who shows Harry a flashback from 50 years ago of Hagrid getting in mm. big trouble because he's got That's a right. giant spider. He is, and it's definitely Hagrid's. I don't know why anyone would suggest it isn't Hagrid. Why would you think it's not Hagrid, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> no reason. Obviously, it's young Hagrid. Young Hagrid. Mm. Well, it looks, uh, it looks like mm. the same age Hagrid. Like you, see, you can sort of see his chin. His face is in shadow, but you can see his chin, mm. and it does just look like an adult Robbie Coltrane's chin. It's like while he's still training to be giant cracker. That's right. <laughs> he was, he was semi massive cracker at this point. Yeah. <laughs> so Harry now thinks Hagrid opened the chamber. Oh no. And that the spider is the creature that's inside the monster. Hagrid! Hagrid! Come back, Jink! Come back! Come back! Jink! Come back! Jink! 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 What? So, Quidditch mm-hmm. is cancelled. That's good. Yeah, because thank God. Yeah, fuck, thank fuck for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing another match. Someone says yeah. you can't cancel Quidditch. It's like please yeah. fucking cancel. Please, <laughs> please, 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 please. I mean, speaking of which, basically... mm. Ron says Riddle sounds like a dirty rotten snitch to me, which I presume means he's going to grab him and then instantly win the match. Which is That's kind of Riddle. what happens with Voldemort, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah it's very good point. Yeah, you win. Yeah. Yeah. What they should have asked is there's this ex student called Tom Riddle. Did he have a middle name that is kind of used to Hoover up a lot of uh, a lot of letters? <laughs> yeah. 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 A dodgy yeah. anagram. <laughs> if you were trying to sort of make a different word out of the letters in his name, which <laughs> doesn't give you very much. But no, much better at the end. If I mean, when we get there, if it's Carol Vorderman, mm. really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as if if he rearranged the letters and they spelt Carol Vorderman. Carol Vorderman. Yeah. 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 And Richard Whiteley's there. Oh, He's the best. Twice, Twice nightly, Whiteley. Twice right. nightly. <laughs> Once yearly, nearly. As he yeah. said. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so Quidditch is cancelled. The reason why is because Hermione has been petrified, oh, and no. she's holding a little mirror. And Harry and Ron go and go to Hagrid, and they go, "Right, why, why the fuck are you doing all this, you bastard?" <laughs> and when they go to his house, because no one's allowed out of the school, so they, he goes, oh, "It's time to get my dad's invisibility cloak out." Yeah. Use that again. Use they that go to Hagrid, one. and he answers the door with a fucking crossbow. <laughs> It's just a normal night, like pissed on moonshine, waving across. <laughs> also, they just he sort of, they don't drinks s- moonshine, Tom. You're quite right. He That's really right. It's from a still yeah. that he brews himself using a sort of mm-hmm. magic flame made of eggs or something. I don't know. But like they they whip off the robe like, Wah! and it's, mm-hmm. I just imagined like much like him having his head blown off at Fang Rock in the first. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine just the the crossbow going off and just skewering both of them through the head. Just like yeah, yeah, one yeah. shot. Ooh, I pro- and like, uh, probably uh, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbledore and Cornelius Fudge, mm. played by the lovely Robert Hardy. Oh mm. yes, yes. It arrives now. What are they doing with Fudge in this film? Because he's in the other ones and he just looks like Robert Hardy. But in this one, they've given him like a ponytail. Oh, and and a weird an odd, wig. odd presence. Yeah. He and he's like got like eyeshadow or something. He's got like yeah. eyeliner on. He looks yeah. very odd. He looks mm. very, very odd. Um, they arrive, so obviously Harry and Ron go under the blanket. Yep. <laughs> with Lucius to take mm-hmm. Hagrid to Azkaban. Yeah, that's, it's, that's horrible, isn't it? Horrid, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then when Dumbledore's leaving the room, he just goes, oh, mm. help will always be given to those at Hogwarts who ask for it. Basically, yeah. everyone knows they're under the blanket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <that way>. like, <laughs> Except well, Malfoy Senior, who's just very quick to believe that Dumbledore's completely lost it at this yeah. point. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. like, yeah. well, that was a bit yeah. weird. And then Hagrid goes, anyway, I better be going to Azkaban as well, to prison. I just wanted mm-hmm. to say, um, follow the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> and then that- like in Goodfellas, he gets in the limousine and goes, right, now mm. take me to prison. <laughs> Drinks a cocktail. Yeah. Now take me to jail. So they've re- they deduce now that Myrtle must have been the Muggle-born girl that died. Mm. Ooh. So they go to the and, and they go to the bathroom, and then she tells them that the snake probably came in through that sink. Mm. And then they like my shoulders would drop. I'd be like, why didn't you fucking say this? Two days ago. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, once again, the plot is a bit been harsh delayed. on a dead girl, though, isn't it, John? To be yeah, honest, yeah. <laughs> when they come in and they go, like, "Oh, you're the Muggle-born girl that was killed," mm. Harry goes, "Oh, thank God, because till this point, I'm assuming you'd killed yourself." <laughs> <laughs> well, I assumed as much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like, yeah, one well, of those sort of hazing misadventures or something. So they've now found yeah. the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, but then mm. we find out that Ginny's been kidnapped mm. and taken to the chamber, and then Lockhart turns up and goes, "Sorry, I'm late, everyone." And and then Alan Rickman brilliantly says, sorry, Snape says, mm. Lockhart, now's your chance. You said you you know where the chamber is and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yes, yes, of course. I'll, I'll get onto that right away. <laughs> so he goes back to his room and Harry and mm. Ron go to find him and he's packing up because he's going to run off. Oh, mm-hmm. such a coward. Yeah, he's a fraud. You've just been taking credit for what other wizards have done. Is there anything you can do? Yes, now you mention it. I'm rather gifted with memory charms. Otherwise, you see, all those wizards would have gone blabbing and I'd never have sold another book. He's just a teacher who can erase the memories of students. Nothing to worry about there. Nothing, Nothing weird about sinister. that. Hey, isn't that just like every every teacher you've ever met in your life? Oh, yeah. bloody, too yeah. bloody, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Teacher, leave us kids hey, alone. Hey, yeah. that's yeah. like every teacher that's taught about British imperialism. Eh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Actually, all those terrible things we did were great. Yeah. So, <laughs> take map, that the woke map teacher. was pink for so long because it's sexy. Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Makes sense. So, he's about to get his wand out and do him. So, mm. Harry and Ron are like, don't <laughs> think about it. Yeah. yeah. And they take him into the chamber. And then, when they get in the chamber, um, he, he tries to kill them. Yeah, that is mad. It's insane. Yep. I think really? from this point onward, no one's mm. directing this film. They're just really? making it up as they go along. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Columbus just wandered off. It's just no... Yeah. The, the blocking's weird. 
There's yeah. no tension. <laughs> so bizarre because Lockhart is like, right, well, I'm going to kill you now. And he manages to get Ron's wand, does the spell, but of course it backfires on him. He yep, wakes um, up and he's like, oh, and also the wall collapses so they can't get through. It's just Harry's yeah. right. And he's like, oh, and Ron fucking brains him with a rock. <laughs> he fucking him, like, <laughs> it's mad. Because he's an original gangster and he won't be told. Mm. Bosh. Yeah. Mm. Well, is this after they've already just shoved him down a hole that yes. could be... They don't know how high that is. He could just die. Yeah. Yeah. Also, there so... should be a comedy shot of when they're falling down the Chamber of Secrets pipe. Mm. Yeah. Screaming. There should be mm. a shot of um, someone having a dump and hearing it. <laughs> yeah. and just, what did also... I eat? <laughs> also, after they shove Lockhart down the hole, I couldn't help but picture him landing in like a big like discarded sanitary products like pile at the <laughs> AIDS needles at the bottom. Yeah, of the yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the bit where they do the scene that is in every kids' adventure film, which mm. is two people sliding down a slide, going ah, yeah. which is mm. compulsory in every single one of those. Yeah. And at the bottom, Nick is like, uh, uh, like two yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this time, it's a bit more grim because it's full of bones. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it's, weird. It's quite a grim film in many ways. It is. Mm. Yeah, so many sort of deaths, cat mutilations. It was only then when hearing... I talked about Snape. I was like, oh yeah, Snape has nothing to do in this. Absolutely film. nothing. Yeah, he's not in it, really. No. Yeah. But yeah, it's mad. Yeah. So they go. Harry goes into the chamber, finds Ginny lying unconscious, mm-hmm. guarded by Tom Riddle. And Tom Riddle, and he's like, "Come on, Tom, we got to save Ginny and get out of here." Yeah. And Tom's like, "Oh, I don't think so, because uh, <laughs> I use the diary to manipulate Ginny." to open Mm -hmm. the chamber and do all that because I'm Slytherin's heir Mm. and I am and he writes his name Mm. Tom Riddle and it takes ages yeah yeah yeah. and his full name is I am Lord Voldemort yeah (laughs) his full name is Tom I am Lord Voldemort Riddle well I've written here was his name meant to be Ian Lord Voldemort (laughs) that would make more sense than I am yeah yeah. but yeah his name is Tom Malvolo Riddle yeah Yeah. Because yeah. they just needed, basically, they've got a bin of letters that they yeah. need to make that work. And like so a bag, <laughs> bag of Scrabble letters, and you've got that yeah. bit in the middle, you're like, ah, for fuck's sake. For God's sake. <laughs> and you use Marvolo, the other person's like, that's not a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, it means redemptive. Sure, right. that works, that'd be fine. When, when he was writing out his full name in a sequence that takes like minimum oh, three minutes God, to complete yeah. yeah why didn't Harry just like you know like rabbit punch him in the kidney yeah <laughs> down <laughs> kitchen like, balls oh just finished I wonder if his he- foot would have gone through him because he's sort of a ghost from the past this whole section I don't understand just, just drives this. me mad because just really. like Voldemort was after your time Voldemort is my past present and future culprit has been identified, I presume? Oh, yes. And? Who was it? So he brings <laughs> Ginny back from her trance. He's all healed. Yes. He goes yep. to see Dumbledore and then Dumbledore goes, well, you both, you and Ron... Oh, of course, they, they bring Kenneth Branagh and he's like, oh, I don't know who I am, where I am. It's really confusing yeah. and sad. Yeah. And I'm just going to let him loose in the woods or something. I think so. He's just in a home. Yeah, to go live with the spiders, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be brilliant. You'd just chuck him in the spider hole. Yeah. <laughs> Lucius Malfoy turns up with Dobby. It turns out Dobby's master is Malfoy's dad. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, um, Dobby's back to ruin the end of the film. Yep, yeah, back to ruin the end of the film. But uh, Harry frees him with a sock. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then Malfoy's like, you took my house elf. And yeah. he's about to kill him. That's yeah. mad, isn't it? He's about to adab a cadaver or whatever it is. Yeah. That's yeah. it. You shall not harm Harry Potter. <laughs> When Isaac's like wheels back, there's I'm not sure it's meant to be slow motion or it's just a weird choice, but mm. Isaac sort of goes bah, bah, like mm. that, as he's <laughs> winding up with the wand. Advocadava, whatever it's called. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Abracadabra. Yeah. Yeah, Great Soprano I'm, turns up. Great Soprano. Uh, James Gunn's a film in it. Great Soprano. Hey, anyone want to do fucking spells? <laughs> <laughs>
Meanwhile, Hydra has been in Azkaban this entire time trading Bertie Bot's jelly beans for blades. Mm. He's like, been like <clears throat> brawling cell block 99. It's been the most yeah, brutal yeah. like two weeks of his life. That's yeah. interesting. We all had the same thought because I put in my note, uh, Hagrid returns from Azkaban where he became daddy and fucked up everyone. <laughs> yeah. <that's right. laughs> Yeah. Well, what happened was he, he was trading jelly beans for fags mm. and uh, and then one of the Aryan Brotherhood got a vomit flavour and then he had to <laughs> them all in the yard. Oh, imagine it's if like it a... was like Brawl in Cell Block 99 then. I don't think heads. <laughs> just smashing heads together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brains firing He's like out, yeah. Taron Egerton in Blackbird. He's like really pumped. He's like really ripped yeah. when he comes back. Yeah, Literally yeah. Literally ripping spines out of people's backs. Clacking <laughs> <and, laughs> yeah. them together yeah. and saying, you're not locked in here with you. I'm not locked in here with you. You're yeah. locked in here with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hagrid, yes. Yeah. You're allowed <laughs> no, to go no. now. Okay, just drops the spines. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Yeah. And then he gets a, a nice... round of applause. Yes, the only man ever took the journey is literally from maximum security prison to a school. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was the end of Braun Cell Block 99. <laughs> Back to my job as a janitor at a school. Yeah. <laughs> standing O, standing O for Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Covered in blood and guts. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you all again. We don't ever cross me. <laughs> <laughs> Hagrid mm-hmm. gets his moment in the sun, he gets which a is wild great. Round of he, applause for doing nothing. He for, does for being yeah. in jail. <laughs> well, I, it's his payback because he never got his due at the end of A New Hope. Yes, <laughs> yeah. he gets his medal finally. Yeah, it feels a bit like a real disservice has been done to Hagrid because we find out in this film quite sort of unceremoniously that he was a student at Hogwarts. Yeah, and then mm. in the same scene, find out that he was thrown out. He's expelled and now, for something he didn't do, and now it turns out he's been just stuck working as the the janitor because yeah. he's not allowed to just go live in the Muggle world. Yeah. So he just has to be a janitor for the rest of his life. And now everyone goes, oh, you're innocent. And he goes, well, fucking great, because for 50 years I've been cleaning up your shit. That's a good and point. And not allowed yeah. to be a wizard. And you you're that? like, oh, well done, mate, you're innocent. It's like, oh, thanks. That's the end of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> we got there. Yay! We got there we in got the end. There. We got there. We don't, Any yeah. takeaways from this? Well, I, I had, thank God Mrs. Norris is okay. I would have been yeah. really sad. I that felt quite sad, sort of moved it? when uh, you see um, Filch cradling Mrs. Mm-hmm. Norris at the I'm end. I'm glad the boy with the big chin's all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why doesn't Hermione hug Ron? Is it like is it like they're sowing the seeds of, oh, it's awkward because they sort of fancy each other really early? I think or so, does yeah. he just stink? <laughs> I think all boys stink at this age, don't they? Oh, yeah, they do. But then she hugs Harry and he must stink as well. Well, he's been rolling around in the toilet skeletons um, yeah, so we must, <laughs> must stink a bit toilet skeletons <laughs> the ones at the bottom of the pit I know what you mean I just yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about them in that way and it's just toilet skeletons. oh it's by the way um, all, all the exams have been cancelled oh yeah oh, yes for because what? Hogwarts yeah. isn't a school it's just a, a, a holiday of... camp yeah, really? like, mm. so firstly the exams have been cancelled why none of the other kids had anything happen to them <laughs> secondly like <coughs> the teachers say all the exams have been cancelled and like, mm. I think even in like the roughest comprehensive like the teachers mm. would at least try to make a show of like that's a bad thing mm. yeah but no yeah, the teachers yeah. like yeah. have been cancelled and everyone's yeah. like yay oh, okay yeah there you go um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets the big boy the big chin's fine um, yep, lovely stuff. Uh, 